Hi and welcome to my world. My name is Hans Erickson and I'm a certified Maya user. And today I'd like to talk about optimizing your scene file, especially complex ones, uh, so that they render better uh, using Maya and uh, RenderMan. As you can see here, I've got a critique video that I uh, had uh, produced for a class for an upcoming short, and I'm going to run it real quick here. And uh, it's got quite a few elements in it. It's got quite a few trees. It's got a house, a roof, lots of snow, and all of this was built to scale. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it here. And you can see there's quite a bit of fault with the uh, with the scene. It was a critique. It's a uh, work in progress. Uh, but the uh, thing that I want to bring to your attention here, and let's just go ahead and take a look at it. If I come here, you can see that I have uh, some a lot of lines coming through my snow. Uh, I uh, attempted to put some snow in here, and I wanted it to look as though water droplets was dripping from the uh, roof, and I put way too many little water drops in there, so I need to correct that. When I pass through the glass, uh, I'm getting that double reflection, and there's a way to take care of it. And of course, my interior is, is just a basic setup here. I've got a fireplace. I haven't put any fire in it yet, and the stones up here uh, didn't shade real well. But uh, all in all, I just wanted to show you the scene, and the whole point of this scene is there's a lot of geometry in here especially this fence uh, and I have another problem with the fence is if you come around here you can see that it doesn't complete uh, one of the things that I do is I only put in exactly what I need and I guess I needed a few more fence sections there and I'll need to correct that but notwithstanding uh, all the snow in the trees and everything else. Like I say, there is a ton of geometry in here. And yet the scene really didn't take all that long to render uh, because I optimized my scene. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And this is the scene that I rendered from. And you can see that it's running exactly as it showed. Just like that for 720 frames only a 30 second clip but you may notice all these little red boxes and everything and that's because I use something in RenderMan called rib archives and uh, what I've done is all of these files are produced all of these assets are produced in a completely different file and then they're all brought in as rib archives if I take a look at this file, let's go ahead and bring this over here. Let's go ahead, this is my mouse story here. If I go to my scene file, <coughs> excuse me, and if I go to the shot file here, you'll see that this file is only uh, about 12,000 uh, kilobytes, which is actually pretty small for the amount of geometry that's in here. If we went back and looked at the assets alone, let's get over here to my props, we'll go to uh, settings and exterior and my foreground and on my land, here's my cottage fence and you can see my uh, cottage fence file they're actually it's pretty darn big. In fact, let's go ahead and open that file up. If I come over to open scene <coughs> and my scene files here, my props, settings, exterior, my foreground, my land, uh, cottage fence, Actually, I think it's this one here. There we go, cottage fence, right there. <coughs> and as you can see, even though my original scene file is rather small, 
this file right here is actually fairly large. Uh, it's about six times larger than it is in my total scene file. And if I open this up, and I'm not going to save that. Give a second, and here's my cottage fence. And you can see I have all my little fence sections in here. And I basically what I have is a fence section that I uh, modeled in Blender. And it's uh, pretty intricate. I'll uh, open that up here in a second. And I have uh, put, I used particles to uh, create snow on the top and then turn around and turn those particles into geometry. And you can see there's actually a ton of geometry in here with a ton of faces and vertices and, oops, a little hard to get in there. And like I say, there's just a ton of geometry in here. And if I included that into my scene file, it would have taken forever for it to render. So, but like I say, I use something called rib archives to import this in. And let's go over the steps on that real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here and we'll go to the next one while I go through this entire process of what I did to create this fence.